the heathen doctor, and he was, he said he was, paralyzed the left side. So I was learning to walk again. And Weldon, true story, I fell and broke my leg. I love to tell this story real quickly. When I broke my leg, I said to several of my friends, I said, you know, I think God broke my leg, fixed it. I had no life and you could cut it off. And sure enough, when therapy started, the knee kicked in. Then the ankle kicked in. Then the toes kicked in. Then every part of my leg is usable now. Isn't God good? Oh, yeah. He's he's a good God. He really is. And I think, you know, sometimes you just have to scoot those things in. I thank God for David McCormick and just letting me be free and this gospel music tonight and it'll be country the next time and just i know you just love it all thank you for loving my songs thank you thank you thank you (laughs) this is one that i think most of you'll know if you know it in the audience sing along and you there by your radios just sit down and write the words down with me and sing along with me if that isn't love He left the splendor of heaven
Beautiful. Or are you going to have someone? I'm not that good. Uh, I can act silly or yeah. I can cry and pray with you, but I'm, I'm not an actress. No, I'm not. Who no. would you? Are you going to get to pick who plays? The yes, person? ma'am. I'm going to pick the little girl at eight that wrote my first song that almost got me expelled from school when I was eight years old. It wasn't really? gospel. It was country, but it was not too good. And uh, <laughs> And then I'm going to get to pick the little girl 12 that left home. I left home when I was 12 years old and rode the old greyhounds to do services in church and write the music. Mm -hmm. And then I certainly want to pick the lady that uh, looks a little bit like me. I'm going to pick her when she had that long hair that stood way up here, you know, that long ponytail. Yeah. That's coming out. And then also, uh, I'm glad you asked. I'm starting my new TV show on TV. That's and, uh, what I thought. I had one three years in California, and I got tired of it and canceled. But now I'm ready with a format of lots of things. Wonderful. So that's all coming up. I had heard that was coming up, and mm-hmm. I, I really wanted the folks to know because, my, that's going to be a great program. Do you know if it'll be a morning show, afternoon, or evening? Have you got that far yet? Or? Uh, no, they were really nice to me with the other shows. They gave me like a 2 o'clock in the afternoon yeah. on Saturdays, oh, which yeah. is a great time. So uh, I think they'll agree to do that again. And by the way, I missed all the backup singers. I just knew y'all was going to be a ooing and ah oh. and yelling and smiling. If and I'd have thought you'd wanted us, we would have been here in a heartbeat. Well, you the get whole little bunnies of... here next time I'm here. Today. That's a deal. Okay. Y'all, we, you we, heard her. Oh, we would be honored. I know Dennis and Norley and Rod would would be tickled as I would to to to, uh, to work with you. We we did get to sing uh, on one program with you uh, that was a birthday celebration for ninety five Governor Davis. Governor yes, Davis. and we yes. were honored that night. That was that was really fun. He, that really he was. enjoyed that also. Yeah. And and we want to send this whole show again, as we said, to Governor Davis and Anna, his pretty little wife. Yeah. What a special guy. I can't get into all of this, but Governor Davis heard my music. I didn't know a thing about recording, getting royalties or anything, and didn't think about it. I just wrote the songs to sing for revivals that I was in. And Governor heard my songs by some singers. Send his airplane. I've never flown an airplane in my life. Did he really? Took me to the Governor's Mansion. That'll be in the book. Oh. And the, the old Governor's Mansion. And uh, that's how I got started in music. Governor Davis put me in gospel music. Isn't that incredible? Well, that so, deserves an applause to him. Thank I you. I love you. Love you, Jimmy. You just talk and tell us more, Don. Your show. <laughs> oh, you're doing a good job. I love interacting with you, Carol. So you kind of know a lot of my music, don't you? Uh, by the way, I love the Grand Ole Opry. I used to do it a lot, you know, and as I'm getting stronger, I want to come back. Will y'all back me? If I oh, we, we oh, would I'd love, love that. to. Uh, we would love that. We'll do that, and then we'll run right over here to the Ernest uh, Midnight Jamboree. And come and do it. Wouldn't again. that be fun? Yeah. And y'all all come. Oh, I thank you for all being here, and thank you everybody that's listening. And tell us uh, the website again where we can get everything. ETRecordShop.com, and we're worldwide now. Uh, isn't that incredible? When I get rich, yes. I'm going to be worldwide, too. Yes. <laughs> you are worldwide. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, darling. Uh, this song has has been um, done by a lot of people. And uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't even want to start. But I've never tried to be like anybody else in my writing. I've pro- never tried to copy anybody. never wanted to. But when I started writing this lyric for my brother, he looked on my thoughts, it just seemed like Danny Boy, it just worked. So I changed some of the notes around. It's the first time in my life I've ever done that.